welcome to this presentation. So we are looking at the migration application already deployed in the SMC. So let's take a look at the uh, profile we've been using. So this is 20.12. So since 20.10, we only have the REST endpoint that is used for connectivity and authentication. In earlier versions, this was database information. And we take a look at the migration package location, which if it is set, will be used to place the zip archives. And this is using a UNC path, as you can see. So all the systems can use this shared folder. So this is the ideal setup for asynchronous and synchronous invocation. So now let's see what is on the development server. So we're logged into server manager and let's see which components are enabled on this server. And there are plenty and let's focus on those which you need to invoke for the migration application. So you need workflow process manager for ADM transport and you need EI object manager of course for anything else and you actually might want to enable the remote component group if you do not use a shared package location then the synchronization manager is required for synchronous migration. So we are logged into the migration application already and we have prepared two connections, one pointing to our development environment. So this is the REST endpoint of the development AI. Nothing else is needed for a development connection. So these database information does not apply. And for production or test environments, RR environments, we have the REST endpoint of that AI and we have filled in the database information for that environment too. So this will be prompted uh, and basically pre-populated. Thank you.